Okay, it's beer o'clock again on the Red Ale Guide. Today's beer is a beer from the Black Oil Brewing Company up in the Highlands in Scotland. And it is the very, very small batch, limited edition, Black Run, Tomatin Sherry Butt Edition, 8.4% ABV. Check this one out. Sherry Butt. It's going to be a beer that's been aged in sherry casks. Now this, I was contacted by the head brewer, Colin Strong. He said I brewed these, these really nice aged beers. Would you like to try some? Would you like to review some? Of course, of course. Um, I've drunk Colin's beers from Manchester Marble when he worked there. Um, now at Black Isle, he's done a wonderful job at Black Isle Brewery. Um, this is number 13 of a possible 1272 bottles so it's a very very small limited edition um, I'm very kind of privileged and very thankful to be able to review this beer let's get it open into a glass see what we get wow oh look at this okay um, Big engine oil type glug going on with the beer. It's very black in the glass, absolutely jet black. No light coming in there whatsoever. Look at the bottom of the glass, there's, there's none of that. Kind of, well, I suppose there's a tiny bit, but in the glass, it's like a big gluggy, lovely looking stout, Russian Imperial stout if you like. Um, look at the way, oh, I love this, it's a, it's a half a finger tan coloured head but watch as I rock the beer back and forth. Look at them small bubbles rising up the side of the glass. It just shows the kind of body in the beer, how wonderful it looks. Look at that, it's absolutely mesmerising. Let's get a nose. Oh my goodness me! Whoa! Okay, this is nothing what I was expecting. Nothing at all what I was expecting. I'm absolutely speechless. Um, I was expecting um, an 8.4%, a black beer, aged in kind of sherry butt ca casks. I was expecting a kind of a Russian Imperial style. I had all my money on it being a Russian Imperial style, but it smells wonderfully hoppy. Oh my word, unless I'm fooled and it's the sherry butt casks, but there's only one way to get over that and that's to taste it. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh my word! Stone the crows, stone the crows. This is this is just absolutely divine. This is just one of them beers which rocks you from your front foot to your back foot. You're absolutely kind of mesmerised by the flavours going on in the beer. Mm. Okay, bang! I'm picking up the, the sherry straight away. It's a little spirity, it's a little alcoholy, it's a little warming going down, but then it goes over to it being a lovely, lovely full bodied stout. Only for a moment, though. Only for a moment. Because the hops just kind of onrush on you on the end of the palate and it grips you and it doesn't let go. Wonderful, wonderful bitterness. It builds in your mouth. The beer coats your mouth in a wonderful, wonderful way. Um, it, the, the carbonation is just pushing the beer around the inside of your mouth where you've got all of them taste buds and it's just, it's just full on maximum, maximum flavour 
sensation, really is. Um, right, okay, calm down. Let's go again. Oh, oh the hops. This is a double IPA, a double black IPA. And 8.4% ABV, thrown in sherry casks. And what a wonderful thing to do. And it just shows the kind of diversity with beer. What can be done with beer? It's why I'm involved in it, it's why I do it, it's why I get so excited about it. It's because beer is almost limitless. Almost limitless. Let's see if it's bottle conditioned. Um, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Um, had some wonderful beers from the Black Isle Brewery. They're black eyed pale ale, I think it's called. Wonderful beer. Or the Black Isle Port, I reviewed it and the file broke on me. Ah, oh, I lost the file. Another great beer. The regular porter, lovely beer. Um, I've got another two. <coughs> Lucky enough to say that I've got the bourbon barrel edition and the tomato and whiskey barrel edition. I cannot wait to get into these beers now. This is just so, so exciting. So exciting. Um, anyway, I'm going to wrap this review up now. One more final thought and a rating from me. Oh. Oh, blimey. I just can't get over the mouthfeel, the rich, luxurious mouthfeel that's going on with the beer. It's like if in brewing terms it's like they've used the first half of the word that really thick word they've just taken that and they've used that it's a wonderful mouthfeel really crisp creamy clinical the mouthfeel is just mind-blowing and that's the kind of foundations for the beer for me because there's nothing worse then I've reviewed a few Imperial Stouts lately, they've been full of flavour, but they've been lacking in the mouthfeel and, and it's kind of, it doesn't work for me. But this is wonderful. Then the hops kick in, and then the malt kicks in, and then the sherry kicks in, and then the kind of oaky aged barrels kick in, and it's just wonderful. It's a 10 out of 10 beer from the Real Ale Guide. Thanks for watching me. Put your comments in the comments box. I need to go and sit down and cheers.